Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside. Ugh, oh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old Speartip? Old Speartip's still down there? Yeah, he is. Unless he's done us a favor and killed over on his own. Could come at us at any moment. How'd the rhyme go? Old Speartip's a deep sleeper. Wake him up and you'll sleep deeper. Come on. Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's gotta be an illusion. What if it's not? <laughs> Whatever you want to do. We'll investigate, just in case. You know, Vesemir's right. You do poke the damn hive, almost always. Fine. Let's go. You're safe now. No! No! Help! Fine. Consider yourself vindicated. You were right. Well, well, what do you know? We can talk about that later. Got the fog that's to take care of now. You're not gonna let this drop anytime soon, are you? No, I will not. In fact, whole world should hear about the time the famed Geralt of Rivia was duped like a child. Think we ought to get Dandelion to write a ballad about it. How's that sound? Dandelion should sing about you instead. Lambert, the smart-ass witcher. Better that than naive. Smart-asses live longer. Changing subjects. Did I see right? Was that boy? Yeah, one of ours. Must have drowned during his trial. Foglets remembered his voice and appearance. Charming. Let's get out of here. Needn't ask me twice. In fact, I didn't even want to come here. Lambert, enough. Geralt? Tip's never been kind to guests. Bones. Pulverized. Shit. Too damn high. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh! Me a fat fuck. Feather either. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Wall looks a little shaky. Art, maybe? Mm -hmm. And wake old spear tip? What? You afraid? No, I just think before I act.
mind not stomping like that. Relax. I slipped. Tip's never been kind to guests. Ugh. Place reeks of mold. What did you expect? Scent of violets? Would have been, ah, uh, so soft and sweet just sleeping there. Makes you want to make this moment last forever. Voltaire, you whore son. <laughs> Voltaire, who's that? Don't remember? Little guy, a scar on his chin right here. Oh, yeah, I remember. All we can do now. Never made it out of here. Let's go. Good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. Don't know who you're trying to impress. Tough guy stuff's just not working on me. Huh. <laughs> Look who's talking. 
Vesemir told me about that job you did for those Nilf guardians in Velen. What? What are you doing? Killing monsters. <laughs> Good one. Just came out that way. Come on. Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. See him shit and run as soon as he saw us? Mm-hmm. Never known a troll to do that. Just is to walk no more. The stops. Uh, East Mountain. Trolley Mountain. Troll Mountain. Huh? Oh. Hi. Uh, hey! This Troll Mountain. Ah. Uh, you talk to these idiots. Stay calm. We just want to get to the circle. Which is this thing one say, thing two do, thing three do, sometime. Ah, uh, enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? Mm-hmm, they understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave! Before they stone us to death! Far more! Which is his understanding? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the Circle of Elements. Listen, but we. Trolls come know to Witchesy Castle. Lox Lotfler. Let him rock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause, uh, it's not getting us anywhere. I'm talking. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Troll, rock, troll. Witchesy strike no back. Just talky, talky. Witcher, wood? Only you. Witcher is his monster kills trolls monsters. Yes, true is. No face, mate. Mm. Um, we took all this. Use sharp back clubs leave here. Use pass. No grease. We smash.
All right. We'll leave our swords here. Pick them up on the way back. We want to know. Metal mouth thing. You nuts? Shut up and follow my lead. Mr. Colin. Hmm? If I remember Pappy Vesemir's lessons correctly, witchers kill monsters. Well, we made it. No denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. Must be if you noticed it. Geralt, who do you take me for? Let me think. A sourpuss? Ha! <laughs> Fair enough. But save the rest of your compliments for later. Let's get to work. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. How'd it go? Water, then earth, then air? All right, phylactery's in place. Then all we gotta do is wait. The container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather. So, how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh yeah, used Axie, but I only had to get past one troll. Other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Sense a good story coming. One of the best. A couple of road robbers stopped me. One pointed a crossbow at me and the other started rummaging through my satchel and made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend and then hang himself. Wow, truly great story. Isn't it? Real side splitter, I think. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No, I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to care more him. Think it's that bad being a witcher? Guess I could have been someone worse. Just a shame I had no choice. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern walked smack into a nest of Neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Didn't know. I'm sorry. Next time you wonder why I'm so bitter. Well, there's your answer. All right. We've griped enough. Let's get out of here. Need to get our swords. But you're with no swords like a man without an arm. Sure thing, brother. his sharp back club takes and home goes. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. I don't need convincing. Come on, girl. Let's go.
You go ahead. Gonna stay here a bit. Hmm. Not too long, though. Remember, we got ourselves a cripple to cure. Shortcuts.
last week. You decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests, especially dull ones. Need to blow off steam? Go ahead, just not on me. Find some other target. I don't know, throw another bed off the balcony. Ha ha ha. So it's to be dull jokes after all. Rather have a serious conversation? We can do that if you prefer. I mean, what got into you? That determined to make Vesemir your enemy? No. I was determined not to sleep in the bed in which you swived Triss. Repeatedly. Know what? We should end this discussion before I say something I'll regret. But I'd love to hear what you have to say. Is that so? Very well then. Listen. You shagged my friend. For upwards of a year. I cannot know what your witch's code says on the matter, but ordinary folk would consider it obscene, base, vile. I try not to think about it. That stupid bed was making it difficult. That's that. That was a mistake. I'm glad you realize it. A mistake engaged in regularly for more than a year. An apology well after the fact, but... I'm glad. Very well. On to more pressing matters. We've a great deal of work to do. The guys... Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First we must finish our preparations. Hmm. You got trust issues with us? No. Actually, I fear you don't trust me. So I'd rather keep certain things secret, for the time being. Pretty tortured logic. 
It may seem that way now, but you'll understand in time. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid, the other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Taken care of. Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. Who you plan to contact? Or is that a secret too? First off, stop pouting. Second, no, it's no secret. Ida Emian, remember her? How could I forget? Member of the Lodge, Elven Sage. Exactly, a sage. As the name suggests, she should know a great deal. I'd like to ask her for advice about Uma. Satisfied? <sighs> You're a sorceress, friends. The sage and not-so-sage. They've let me down before. But if we gotta, we gotta. If only you'd been this cautious with all of them. But no matter. Thank you for your permission. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Geralt? Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. What did Aridin want from you, exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with them. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Aridin believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later, and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. Why didn't you look for me, after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. When the hunt had you, hope they didn't hurt you. Even if they did, I've no memory of it. The whole time's but a string of phantom images. Blood and fire. A wild chase through different worlds. All shrouded in fog. Though I do remember you coming for me. Trading your life for mine. I hadn't the chance to thank you then. You'd have done the same for me. I'm touched by your certainty. But you've yet to tell me how you escaped them. Wouldn't mind knowing that myself. There are times I remember rushing forward, red riders around me. Next thing I know, I'm in the woods at the foot of Kaer Morin. That's it. Still can't get something out of my mind. What? Thanks, Yen. See you later.
Nothing here. Oh, got a signal. Signal's growing stronger. So, Jennifer found a volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. Can we talk? So long. Ah, getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, oh, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Nothing here. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? No, he probably knew. But that's the sort of prank you only pull on someone you like. You don't suppose he... Lambert? Really? I'm flattered. Enough. Ready for this conversation? Sure you want me here? Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kegnell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Hey there, Ida. Geralt! It matters not, Yennefer. I've grown accustomed to human decorum. 
Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Va fel elen, ked mil foli, gled of dawn eptenid bondro isne iacus. Recognize the dialect? Lathan Undod. Meaning? The so-called One Speech, a forgotten language dating from before the Migration. The Migration? Later, Geralt. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us, with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course, they are your only possible recourse, but I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Vafael. That does not conclude our conversation. What is it? The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age, the time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. What was that about? The migration? Good gods. Did they teach you no history here? No. Vesemir figured sword work could be more useful on the path. Gonna answer me? Naturally. One's never too old to learn. The Ensei and the NN elves were once one folk, the N Undod. Then came a cataclysm. No one knows its nature. The N Undod were forced to leave their world. They split along the way. So if Uma's curse was uttered in this Lathan and Undod... Then it's old. Very, very old. Any idea what she was talking about? Siri, of course. Wish everyone would just leave her the hell alone. Wouldn't count on it. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar. Despite my asking you not to. I'm sorry. It's just when Ida started in with that patronizing tone. You decided to prove she was completely justified to adopt that attitude. Well done, Geralt. Bravo. Oh, oh, enough. All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. Listen, everyone. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn, with Uma, or whoever hides inside him.
Vesemir's gotten a bit grumpy in his old age. That was nothing. Should have been here last winter when Lambert tried to convince him we ought to abandon Kaer Morin for good. What good's this old ruin anyway? Moldy walls, leaky roof, and it's one big fucking ice cube in the winter. Vesemir didn't say a word. Stood, grabbed his sword, and slammed the door on his way out. Didn't come back for a month. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or, we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You all right drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. Ugh. Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Esco, that catacan we cut up together. Tell us how you nabbed him. A catacan? Oh ho ho. Dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. Specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My clan threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you, never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. What have you been up to, Lambert? Any interesting contracts before you set off in search of Keratin? Uh, yeah. Contract in Lan Exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush, I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense. Get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll. And a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Pragmatic as ever. You could stand to show some of Lambert's expediency. Set ideals like justice for trolls aside, keep yourself out of poverty instead. Knew the sorceress would see it my way. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies, and then I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends, Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? We were talking about Uma, weren't we? The night is young. Got time to talk about everything. Lambert, not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious. Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You'll fucking what?!
Mind your manners, Lambert. Did you hear what- Not gonna ask you again. Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm... How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it, or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great, but we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years, decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Esco got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh, now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. this about a Sama Villa? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own with a fishing net. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. You can breathe easy. Yen and I are not a couple, and we won't ever be one. Ah. Explains why the Sorceress Superior was so damn so. Lambert dropped it. Sorry, girl. That was, uh, insensitive. We didn't know. <laughs> you wanna... wanna talk about it? No. I want a drink. Doable. Definitely doable. <sighs> Colder and up an ice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta go drain the dragon. You and Lambert get along? In a way. I've learned not to talk to him about certain things. I'm guessing that's quite a list. <laughs> it is. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good men, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. 
old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Esco. I'll pour. To the brim. Cause without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cast. Come on. Let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kinda... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen, there's this game a student from Oxenford taught me. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never, and finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing downs a shop. Then it's the next guy's turn. Sounds great. You start. I've never slept with a succubus. How about that? Expected Geralt might have, but you? Esco, Esco, still waters run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. Right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. Care Morin's black sheep. You want to know the best part? They weren't even my knickers. All right, Geralt, your turn. I've never...
Jumped out of Lever's window. That's so. <laughs> Must have been one tough character whose wife you were plowing. That wasn't it. He was a friend. Didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah. You're a true friend. Right, man. Let's end on that. Or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Vodka. Vodka's gone. Who's gonna go get some more? Already went. To get food. All right. I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? Oh, Amber. Bud. Gotta tell you something. Yeah? Sometimes you're... Real jackass, but I love you, brother. And sometimes you're a real blowhard. But damn it, I go to hell and back for you. Come here, yo. Damn, broke. Good thing it was empty. Where's Esco? Back by now. We ought to look around. This is a job. For Vesemir! Not again. Take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be beleaguered. I wager. Come, men, to the rescue! Spilled some wine and crawled through it. Had to kneel down to see that. If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. Esco, chop, chop. Esco, you drunk! Get out of here! Let's go. Chop, chop. Esco, you drunk! Get out of here! Esco, chop, chop. You drunk! Get out of here! Hey, you hear that? It sounded like panting of a wounded wyvern. Damn it! We missed a fight. Ah, uh -huh. Eskel's close. Hang in there, brother. We're coming. <laughs> hey, look! There he is. With his ever faithful little bleeder. Hello, Esco. Wake up. Uh, what? What happened? Got sloshed, stewed, and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Leave me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Nothing here but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the Megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? Lambert. You're a genius. Of course I am. So, we inviting the lodge to our bash? Fuck yeah! Summon the bitches! All right. How's this work? Well, twist here, a turn there, and you gotta say something in Elvish. Easy peasy, let's do it. 
Hey, hang on. When this Ida sees us, we'll scare her off. I mean, we don't look anything like sorceresses. I know. Yennefer's clothes. Let's dress up. Bags are over there. What's this thing you got for dressing up? Shut it, wise ass, or I'll lace your corset up so tight you'll shit in your bloomers. Stop whining, Eskel. Times you gotta squeeze into some fr 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 frippery. Ugh. We don't tell a soul, understand? This stays here. Sure brought a lot of crap. You'd think she was moving in. Shh. You'll scare Geralt. Yes, Wolf. Geralt? Yes, perfect. Like it was made for you. Sure. Soon as I let it out a bit in the waist. Stop talking. Get dressed. Not that one. Won't compliment your complexion. Damn, Eskel. You got an hourglass figure. And you're an ass. Come on, go. Things tight as hell. Now, I'll do the talking. You two fiddle with the crystals. Cadmil blood it Hocus pocus, I reckon that brass brother. What is this? Who's that? So sorry. We were never here. Guards! More paper, Excellency! No, you oaf. The lodge, the lodge has come for me. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you have an explanation for this. A very good one. Go to bed. Now. See everyone's up and at him. Hmm. And reeking of booze. That hat was a memento, Lambert. Relax, old man. It'll come out in the wash. You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. 
So I induced a trance, hypnotized him, essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Thought we got rid of that table ages ago. Uh, must be 50 years since I last saw Sad Albert. Couldn't bear to part with it. Thought we might find a use for it one day. You know how old people are. Sure. Every grandpa out there's got an attic full of torture devices. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop! You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportions? Performed a series of complex calculations. Extrapolated. simulations. Meaning, you guessed. Hmm. Potions ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know. Done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. Ah! 
The hook we'd work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock, killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. Why'd you keep the table then? Geralt, next potion. Listen, we should stop this. Then Uma dies. Very painfully. Yennefer's right. Open the next valve. maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... Yeah! Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags? On it. the floor? No. The trial. With that Siri in there, she could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? Of course I have. Thing is, we don't have a choice. Not anymore we don't. But we rushed it. Should have started by... Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. Geralt, maybe you ought to... Come now, Eskel. I shan't bite you. Just do it. disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it, or he'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen, you're dozing off. No, I'm just arresting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. I don't know. Tell me a story. Heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating? No, not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first. Then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to. I'd never been before. But she insisted. As Soon as we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, hollering, No, not like that. Footwork. One, then the other. Crossover. No, wrong. Break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say, from then on... He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery.
Sage, we didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen, Arwen, Saram. And Skellige, follow it into the mists. Hurry, hurry. I tried to protect her. But the curse, the hunt, has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. Is he gonna make it? I can't. No. You saw. Not all went as planned. I lifted the curse, but... The trial has wrought havoc in his body. Violently twitching fingers, pupils that don't react to the light. I've seen it many times before. Too many. Toxins have permanently damaged his nervous system. Even if he does pull through... Do you understand? going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this Avalon? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? What's your suggestion? Siri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble, and she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Siri and bring her here, and the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. 
If we plan to fight them, we five, in a crumbling castle. Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avala to care for. He's certain to die without gentle, gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. <laughs>